Greetings to the entire ministry and membership of the New Testament Church of God across the Cayman Islands. My dear brothers and sisters, we are being faced with a very serious situation that is a concern for the whole world. And amazingly, we here in the Cayman Islands, though we may be small, are also feeling the effect of this dangerous disease, the coronavirus. I want to share with you that the government had sent out a bulletin that there should be no public gathering over 50. And as a church, we need to keep in line with the rules and regulations of the government or the authorities. Therefore, I must say to us that there will be no service at any of our churches until further notice. With regards to services tomorrow in particular, I ask that all members, ministers, stay home and we will have prayer starting at 10 o'clock through to 11 o'clock. Or if you so desire, you can start between 11 and 12. So we will be praying in our homes, from our homes, praying for the entire nation. Let us remember really to pray for the premier because and the entire government because they have to be making very serious decisions as to the way forward. So we continue to pray for the government as also those individuals in the health sector, they are on the frontier and have to be facing this vicious, malicious disease, coronavirus. Let us continue to look to the Lord in prayer and to seek him for his divine intervention. If ever time we need to seek the face of God, it is now or never. We are in serious times. My dear brothers and sisters, I have come to the conclusion that we are fighting an enemy which comes with an unusual power to destroy the entire human race. It is an attack on the creative works of God. I believe that with all my heart. As it was in the beginning, so shall it be in the end. When God created Adam, the real man, not a virtual man, the enemy of our soul, Satan, from the spirit world, launched an attack on the mastermind of God, the masterpiece of God, which was Adam, the first man. He attacked Adam with the intention of destroying the plan of God for the human race. The rapid rate and speed of this virus that hit the human race like a hidden nuclear bomb obviously comes with the intention or the intent to attack the worship of the Almighty God. Note that this thing is not affecting the animals, but rather human beings. It's an attack on the church by the enemy. Fear certainly has gripped the hearts of millions across the world. I believe this has come at a time to shift our focus from our purpose to worship the Almighty God. I have noticed that since the fifth century, the doors of the church has never been closed. And this bride of Christ has been through some serious battle, the church. So many things in the natural are at stake. The economy is down. 
which has a devastating effect on all things. This calls for prayer. The word of God in 2 Chronicles 7 and verse 14 should be the pathway to recovery. I therefore call upon us as a people and as church leaders and members to let us come together in this world crisis and call on the Lord our God. Call on him for help. Let us remember and remind the Almighty God of the High Priest of Prayer that Jesus the Christ prayed for us that God would keep us in this world. Fear not. God has not given us the spirit of fear. In the face of this vicious virus that is so dangerous, let us remember that our God is greater than any virus and he's able to see us through. For he was wounded for our transgression and bruised for our iniquities. The chastisement of our peace was upon him and by his stripes we are made whole. It is the plan of God to deliver us of this thing. Second Chronicles chapter 7 and verse 14. If my people who are called by my name seek my face, humble themselves and pray, turn from their wicked ways, God said, I will hear the prayer, forgive their sins and heal the land. Let us call on God to forgive us all of our sins and heal our land. May God bless us at this time when we are faced with this worldwide crisis. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. God bless you richly.